Gareth, could I start by just asking you to define sort of briefly the, the DNA philosophy? Uh, yeah, it's um, first and foremost the way that we w- want to work with our junior national teams, uh, the style of play, um, but also uh, when players join us that there's an understanding of where they've come from in the past, the history of playing for England. Um, there's a, a clear guidelines for the coaches in terms of the way we want to coach, the way that we expect uh, the sessions to look on the on the training pitch, uh, an understanding for the, our identification of players in terms of the skills that they're going to need to be with us um, and then really how all that fits together and there's a model then of what happens with the national junior teams which is then delivered into the education of coaches um, and working very closely with the clubs up and down the country um, who play such a vital part in the development of players. Is this a unique model or is this something that you've looked at that other countries do and just adapt it if you like? Well, it is unique in that we're unique. You know, we're we're an island that um, has certain attributes and skills, um, which some of the rest of the world look at with envy. Um, but we've also got to recognise that we've got to look elsewhere for certain skills and uh, look at not just different countries but different sports for the physical development of our players. Um, ideas on certainly with the teams how we can operate at, at the best possible level. Um, so. Yes, we have definitely looked across the world at examples of best practice, but we have to recognise that we've got our own culture and our own um, system and we've got to work in the best way that we can within that.